All right, well, time now for Will It Work? And this morning, storm tracker Jay Frank is always on the lookout for the latest trends. This morning, he tests out a gadget that promises big sound in a small package. As a lover of all things electronica, I help him find out if the boom cube really works. There's nobody I know who loves music more than our own Lindsay Adams. Her iPhone alone is loaded with months of music, none of which I recognize. So when I came across the Boom Cube, I knew just where to go. It's half audio, half jewelry, designed to clip on anywhere and plug into anything with a stereo jack, including Lindsay's iPhone. Unfortunately, the fashion wasn't an immediate hit. I'm not a big animal print fan myself. Teal and cheetah print was an unfortunate choice, but Lindsay's all about the audio, so we plugged in the boom cube and cranked it up. It wasn't the kind of full-bodied, rounded sound Lindsay was hoping for. I don't know. It doesn't sound all that great, not going to lie. It sounds a little busted. Boom is a bust. In fact, the sound quality noticeably improved when we unplugged the thing. You know what I think of, babe, it's a forget it. The sound is definitely tinny. Not right for Lindsay's beats, but I'll say this. The speakers did work just fine for my favorite tune. Ah, to each their own. Jay Frank, Action News. Oh, Jay, I had high hopes for that cube. I thought, yeah, I thought it would be like a portable, you know, sound system on the go, dance party anywhere. But uh, no, it wasn't. Not much thump to that little cube, <laughs> is there? No, I guess the subwoofer didn't really work too well. <laughs>